I was thinking of another experience because sometimes the reason why I tell experiences by prayer, it's not about me. It's about what God is doing in the prayer. And this is very important for us to realize. We do not share our experience by prayer to say there's something great about me because it's not us at all. It's what God is doing in our prayer. And that's the difference between encountering God in prayer and your ideas about God. And there's a world of a difference because when you encounter God in prayer, you're building a friendship, a relationship with God. And sometimes he has to break through your ideas. Sometimes it's your mind, your thoughts are actually getting in the way of you being open to experiencing God in a new way. Sometimes it's your feelings that are blocking you from being open to God. Like, like my anger or my annoyance was a block. Now, sometimes it's good to actually bring that annoyance and anger to God and let him work on it. But sometimes, too, we have to be humble enough to acknowledge that whenever we're angry or annoyed, it really does limit our perspective. We, we're wearing blinkers when we're angry and when we're annoyed. We don't see the whole picture. We're looking at it in a very particular kind of way. And sometimes God needs to be able to break through that. But for God to break through it, we need to give him the time and the space to do so because our feelings are the block, are, are the defense, are the protection from looking at it differently or looking at it the way that God is looking at it in that sense. And that kind of exposes ourselves. Uh, uh, Francis de Seale says something very, very good. He says, there was never an angry person who thought they were wrong. When you're angry, you're always right. You see, so pride follows very quickly on the heels of anger. And it's true of our relationship with anybody or with God. When we, we're angry, we feel we're right. And God needs to see it our way. And we're not open enough to see it God's way. So we need humility to recognize, okay, I'm angry. But maybe I don't see the whole picture. Maybe what I'm thinking, I don't have to believe everything I think or everything I feel. Maybe there's more to it and to allow God to show me the more that's there. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.